Hello there, this is Retro Spirit Garden, and this is Puzzle Bubble 64 on the N64 by Taito. And this is a title screen of some description. Taito. Exactly. Exactly what I said. Uh, we're running this uh, through the Frame Master, and we're adding scan lines because N64 games do look kind of blurry if you don't put some sort of scan line on them. It's weird. It does clean the image up slightly. But if you're watching this uh, on a screen which has squashed a resolution, it might look worse. But if you go full screen, uh, the scan lines do clean the image up. So we've got a cast of crazy characters. I had this back in the day on the PAL N64. Me and my missus used to play a lot of Puzzle Bobble. But I've bought the Japanese one recently because I have a Japanese N64. And unfortunately, a lot of these menus are in Japanese. And then you go into them and they're in English. So you have to press... I'm just having a look at what's in the menus here. I think this is... A horrible Photoshop background though. Photoshop filter. Yes, this is... Um, people have sent in puzzles, puzzle patterns for you to get through. Not interested in that. I just want to play the computer at some puzzle bobble, please. Press A. Got a dragon with a single tooth. Don't know what that was. Uh, apparently, there's a version of this game which has four player. And I'm not sure this is the one that has four player capability. I'm not sure this is the one that has the four player capability, but it does have a Ryu from Street Fighter 2 in it. Who, with no nose. He's had his nose a dragon punched from his face. Oh, Bubble Bubble. Oh, brilliant. Oh, okay. We're not playing Bubble Bubble. We're playing uh, Puzzle Bubble. So we've got analog stick control. You tweak the old analog stick uh, with minute increments and you can pretty much find the ball at any angle you like. But it is, it is classic Puzzle Bobble, which you have seen multiple times before, even on this channel. Oh look, he's powered up. Oh, he's got blue, blue lightning around him. Because uh, the other guy's nearly dead. That's right, cry me, cry me a river, Mr. Dragon Boy. Oh, he's got a name. It's a bob Boblin or something. We've got intros to each level, which are weird. So I'm gonna possibly destroy a jester for fun. That might be a Taito character from a different Taito game. The name of the game escapes me. Oh, I'm powered up again. Yeah, the AI seems fairly easy in this game. They seem to be screwing themselves over quite a bit. Uh, so, I mean, this should be fairly easy. Oh, is he going to get this right? No, he screwed it up. Oh my god. Skills are lacking. Now the jester's in trouble. It's angered me with its... Annoying angles. Yes. Eat my balls. Um, the backgrounds are a bit uh, sort of blurry, aren't they? I mean, that background is okay, but that one is um, even with the scan lines on, it doesn't clean it up as much as you'd like. The strange haircut elf thing here is now going to probably dominate me. Uh, with its bubble blowing prowess. It's a very satisfying sound effect on the puzzle bubble when you blow up the bubbles. I do like that. So the analog controls are quite nice. I do like those. Uh, the characters are an eclectic mix. There seems to be loads of content on this cartridge. And uh, you're probably better off buying the PAL or the, in the uh, in North American ST and NTSC version. Because the Japanese one does have impenetrable, impenetrable menus. And um, 
But it is Puzzle Bobble, there's no denying it. It looks blurrier than Puzzle Bobble on the Saturn. Puzzle Bobble 2X, which is the other Puzzle Bobble I've got. Uh, but I, what I will say is... Uh, it's not got as horrible renders in the background. Because the Saturn version was sharper, but with horrible renders. This has got some different presentation, which is not bad. We've got a girl with a crazy hairdo. Dancing. Dancing like a fool. Yeah, so, anyway, this game on Japanese import is like £20. 20 English pounds. And not many people bother importing N64 stuff these days, unfortunately. So... You're highly unlikely to find a copy of the Japanese version or American version, as it happens. Now you might have to uh, buy one from a site and import it yourself, in which case you'll be paying a lot of import duty. But if you do find it, it'll be about 20 quid. And it's probably worth about 20 quid. Uh, what you get is you get a normal N64 box, cardboard box, probably if you do get it it'll be in bad condition it's a white box as well so it'll be discoloured in some way quite probably oh I'm fighting uh, oh, it is a complete rip off of Street Fighter 2 wonder how they got away with that um, oh, I've, I've seen that I've seen that car in real life no. is, it, is it the one in Tokyo? it might be, might not be no it probably isn't um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the box is white. It's got a nice picture on the front. Uh, it'll be discoloured, probably crushed, crushed to funk. And uh, yeah, N64 collecting is. Uh, you've got to put up with some uh, quality issues on the old boxes. It's worse than. Uh, like Nintendo games always came in like cardboard boxes. And I don't, as I don't collect NES games. Uh, but I do collect Super Famicom ones. The Famicom boxes, Super Famicom boxes, seem to be... Well, you can get some in good condition. The N64 boxes seem like getting a box in pristine condition is nigh on impossible, and I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Uh, ooh, tarot. And a photograph, a digitized photograph of someone's library. Yeah, so... Um, Unless you buy a brand new copy, and even if you do buy a brand new copy, they're usually sun faded in some way or something. Uh, N64 is a difficult console to get pristine stuff for. If you if you care about that kind of shizzle, if you just want the cartridges, you can pick them up left, right, and center. But uh, box stuff, yes, it's harder. Never mind. Well, this is Puzzle Bubble. It's uh, pretty pretty decent, and I think this person's now gonna this purple-haired person's gonna beat the crap out of me by the looks of it. Never mind, never mind. It's gotta be game over, isn't it? It's gotta be game over. There's no way I'm getting out of this. No way on earth. Oh, he screwed that up. Oh, but then he redeemed himself. And he won! Oh, ho, ho. victory from the jaws of defeat. That's what Puzzle Bobble's always about, though, isn't it? Just wait for the other person to screw up. Doesn't matter how much of a bad situation you get in. If you can just stick in there... Ooh, lovely. The other player might mess it up. That's a horrible background. And this time we've got a blue-haired... Uh, what are they called? Croupier. We're fighting a croupier. Uh, throwing cards at me left, right, and centre. I don't know what the rainbows do. I've got rainbows and wooden blocks. This is a classic puzzle bobble tune. Reproduced on the N64. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, anyway, that's puzzle bobble. It's like fun, it plays puzzle bobble, but like I said, there's lots of stages in there for you to work through, like puzzle stages. There may be, I mean, if, you, if you've if you got four people that want to play an N64 game these days, there may be a four-player version on this cart, but I'm not quite sure if there is, because I've, I don't have four controllers for my N64, which is another barrier to entry. 
Uh, but I'm sure my kids would play play this against me in three player mode. But again, I've only got two controllers, so you know one of them's gonna have to be using mind control, and uh, I don't have any you know, telekinetic kids, so that's gonna be difficult. Um, I wish they'd just try harder though. Oh look at that was a that was a class shot that was. Screwed her right over with that one. Um, Trump. Mm. Oh, something blast man. There's a uh, Super Famicom game of Sonic Blast, man. It's like a scrolling fighter. I always wondered what that was like. Never played it. I uh, always saw it in the magazines, thought it was quite fun. Looks a bit Final Fight y. Yeah, never played it. Might have to pick that up one day. See what it, see what all the fuss is about. There's no fuss about that game whatsoever. Because the arcade machine was just something that used to punch, wasn't it? Can't remember. Anyway, Puzzle Bubble. 64. 20 quid on Japanese import. Probably better off buying the PAL or American version if you're an English reader. Because uh, the Japanese one is slightly confusing. Alright then. Ta-ra.